All right, Derek, Magic Gem up next. Uh, let's kind of get lined up with it and see how it uh, compares Sweet. to what you brought today. Same process. I'm going to be a little bit further right than I typically start just because this ball is very strong. Yeah. So I'll move probably one back from that. Um, so I've been throwing this ball for a little while now, and this one is something special for me. It's a little magical. Um, I fired 840 out of the box with the thing. It was one of the craziest nights of my life. It hooks a ton. Uh, I have it over the Eternity Pie, which is kind of crazy to say, because that ball hooks a whole bunch. Um, but this ball is sick. That's pretty good. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. You can see that I got that one going pretty forward and it really picked up and obviously ran over the rack to nine pin. That was that was pretty dirty. Create some magic. So I started a little bit further right than I typically would getting lined up just because this ball is so strong and I've thrown it a good amount. So I kind of have an idea of where to stand with the thing. Um, this thing is crazy responsive, very strong, very early. For me, I have it earlier than an Eternity Pie and just more overall hook in comparison, which is pretty crazy to say for how strong the Eternity Pie is. Um, but great ball. Uh, we'll keep throwing it here. Just throw you guys a couple shots with it. All right, so we wrap seven. I'm gonna move one back left. And just throw it a little bit better. That's gonna sit in the oil. Oops, still gets around it. That one was way in the oil, and you can see it's still kind of hooked, which is pretty wild. Yeah. But like I said, this ball's really strong. Cool. And you recently had 840 with it, right? Yeah, 840, the first three out of the box. I only got like four minutes of practice because I'm late like I always am. Um, and ran front seven, front nine, front 10. The first three games out of the box for 844. Sick. My highest series to date. It was pretty cool to do it with a fresh ball. Nice. That's better. Yeah, that was really good. You can see when it gets to the friction, it really wants to rev up and flip over. Right. Which for me, that's what I like to see when I bowl on higher volume stuff. Um, it's been the cow shot killer for me right now because I can just throw it as hard as I want and it still picks up. Um, I can't put this one down. I throw it every week. It's pretty good again. Ugh. Ooh. So what are we going to be comparing to today? Eternity Pie, another big favorite of mine. Let's take a look at that. Layout on this pie. And then we'll compare to that layout on the uh, Magic Gem. Pretty similar. Mass Pie is just a little bit closer to the thumb. Okay. All right, we're going to start in the same spot as where I ended with the Magic Gem, where we were lined up. This should go a little light. Yeah, a little bit longer down the lane. Maybe a pinch poppier, at least on what we're bowling on right now. But I definitely should move a little bit left off of that one. At least in my opinion, I should. Probably just one. Should hopefully run them over and hopefully not go high. Eyes in the same spot. Yeah, it's the next. Yeah, that was it. So you can see they're fairly close. The gem is just a little harder off the spot, just a bigger engine. Um, but they're really close. For me, a perfect one, two in league. Second the gem goes high, I'm instantly into the Eternity Pie. It's like oh. the easiest transition ever. Okay, let's see, let's see the pie a couple more times. A little slower, obviously picked up pretty hard just because I threw it slower to be expected. All right, we're gonna go back to the Magic Gem for one last one. We'll give you guys my final thoughts on it. It's I mean, kind of assumes shooting 840, but what's your final rating and who should be looking at this ball? I mean, come on, look at this thing. Uh, for me, like a lot of the bowling balls coming out right now, this one's fire. Yeah, I can't keep putting them. I can't put them down, man. They're they're all so 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 good. Uh, for me, this one's going to be perfect for the high speed players that need something to help them hook um, or guys that bowl on a little bit more volume consistently like in league for me 
That's what I see every week is a little bit more volume. Um, or really just anyone looking for a ball for those heavy oil patterns. Those longer PBA patterns or sport patterns, stuff like that. Those are the people that are gonna utilize this ball a lot. There's value for just about everyone in my opinion. This, this ball is really good. All right, our honorary two-hander. Gonna be checking out the Magic Gem. Just getting lined up. And then we will check out the balls that he's comparing to once he gets lined up here. All right. They're hooking a little bit, so. Oh. Any moves off of that? Any moves off of that mark? Or? Uh, I'll probably move a couple left and okay. see if it'll shape in the puddle like that. Hopefully. Okay, so moving a couple left. Yeah, three. Probably one too many. So now moving back to the right a little? Probably just a little slower from that spot. I get my okay. hand around. Yeah. That was better. Closer yeah, this there. line's a little, little, little tough too right now, probably, yeah. but they're, they're definitely hooking a little bit. I'll try to get this one to the right a little more. Hopefully that'll hook. That was it's looking pretty good. A couple more yeah. shots from there. And then what are we comparing to today? Tour Dynamics? Tour Dynamics and an Eternity Pie. Okay. Go a couple more left and throw it slower and get it to the right. Yeah. Oh, wow. That hooks a lot. That was better. Getting lined in? Yeah, that yeah. was three more left. Yeah. Getting pretty lined up now. What are you going to try first? Uh, we'll go the tour dynamics first. It's probably going to be a little, a lot slower than that. Okay. Try it in the same spot first. Yeah. Okay. So what did you see? Close. Cleaner, slower, both? Uh, a little bit of both. Okay. Definitely cleaner than that. And when it got to the spot, it didn't come off of it nearly as hard. It got through the mid lane better, so it's probably a little bit of both. We're gonna go three right this time. Try and get a little more square. Ooh, with the messenger. A little better. So what ended up being the total difference between the balls there for you? Uh, I was four right with my feet and three left with my eyes. So definitely that magic gem cover way more boards than the tour dynamics does. Got it. At least for me. Okay. And what ball's up next? Uh, Eternity high. Okay. And are we starting where you were with the gem or? Yeah, I'll go back to where I was with that magic gem. Okay. First thoughts compared to the gym? Uh, definitely cleaner and a little more harder off of it for me. Okay. Uh, I could, the Magic Gem definitely in volume, probably be a little better handling that with less surface. Okay. And you can kind of try and create more shape. And then once they break down a little bit, I can definitely see like that Eternity Pie being a little less of it and like creating it off of it. Okay. Yeah. So do you think you'd most likely end up moving right with the pie compared to the gym? Or? Yeah, I would probably be like three and two to the right probably with the pie. Just a little cleaner covered. A little bit easier through the front of the lane in my opinion. Oh. 
Wow. So definitely the strongest of the bunch there. Yes. What's your final rating on this ball? And who do you think uh, should should take a look at it for their arsenal? Uh, I see this ball being pretty fire. Uh, definitely the lower rev rates would love this ball to try and stay right and kind of trap the lane a little bit, especially on the fresh or the higher rev rates. If you're bowling on like a lot more volume or starting to bowl tournaments on longer patterns, this ball will definitely be one of the first ones out of the bag for sure. Okay, great. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. All right, Kyle King, comparing comparisons ball review. We're doing the Magic Gem, getting lined up right now. All right, so first shot. Ugh. So, Kyle, where are you seeing out of this ball so far? You've had it for a bit. Um, so far, uh, from what I what I've seen out of it is basically. It's a lot cleaner for me than what I was anticipating it to be. Like, what I mean by that is that I thought this ball was gonna be really, really early for me. But for me, it gets a little bit down the lane a little bit more and reads more of the belly of the lane, more in the mid lane for me. So compared to like the regular gem and the exotic gem, it fits right in between the two for me. Cool. And I think that's what we're gonna be comparing to today, right? Yep, that's gonna be the comparisons. All right. Okay, any changes from that first shot? Yeah, we're gonna move a couple left and get a little bit softer. Okay. The first one, I just kinda wanna see what it looked like in the oil. We're gonna go around that a little bit more. And when you throw it that bad, it don't matter where you stand. <laughs> it's a pretty awful shot. But you can see how strong this bowling ball is, even though that was up in the oil, which typically this building has quite a bit of volume in the middle. It still really dug through that spot pretty early. Go a little bit further left and cheat a little bit. That's better. Okay. Feel like you lined up now, or any feels pretty close. Of yeah, yeah. Once I once I execute the better one, we'll be good. <laughs> yeah, a little bit firm on that, so a little bit faster than I wanted to be off my hand, but make the slight adjustment from that, we'll be all right. Okay, so same same spot. Yeah, we'll Either do the same or... spot. We'll just uh, we'll just try and make sure we don't fire it through that to that spot, and so we'll roll it to the spot a little bit better. Hey, this building definitely has a lot of dry to the right. So I got that one a little bit quick there, but it didn't over bounce off of it for me. So typically when I get it there to that spot of the lane and it's the wrong ball, it's gonna really, really take off. So this ball really blends out the lane pretty well. Okay. Let's say. A couple more with that one and then we'll uh, yeah. try the other balls. Yeah, hopefully we get a good one. All right, let's, let's make a good shot here. That's better. Well, I like that one, but we need to wrap that one, maybe. <laughs> maybe uh, try, do you think going to the gem right there in that spot, and, and we might be able to see the difference, or will it bail even more? Do you think it's the front it's of the It's gonna bail more. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's pretty good. All right, so that was better. That was more rolly to the spot, so that to not use all of its energy in one spot and come in too hard into the pocket. So that was good. Good adjustment there. All right, so what are we comparing to? So we're gonna compare it to the regular gem now. We're gonna get that regular gem in the exact same spot. My prediction is it's gonna be earlier and a little bit slower off the back of the lane, just from what I've seen out of them comparatively so far. So are we starting off in the same part of the lane, same yeah. everything? everything's gonna be the same on this first shot. Okay. exactly what I said. So as you can see how much earlier that one picks up on the lane and then it really goes forward as it goes in post. Doesn't really want to go left as much, which is better for when there's a little bit more volume and there's a little bit more room to the right to play. So I typically wouldn't want to go as far left for this ball as it with the magic chip. Got it. So this is a prime example 
Uh, when we talk about bowling ball and bowling ball reaction on the lane and strength levels of a bowling ball, when we talk about strength level, we talk about how early the ball hooks. So the earlier that ball hooks, the stronger that ball is. Now, the caveat to that or the issue with that is that this is that situation when you get creating too much angle with those strong balls, they don't have enough energy in the back of the lane to recover. So for example, on that shot right there, it got out of the oil line, but it was trying to read in the oil line. So when it got to the dry, it didn't have the energy left. So we're gonna go with the exotic gym now. So this ball should be a lot cleaner, have a little bit more back end reaction than both the bowling balls and especially the regular jelly. So we're gonna be in the same spot. Hopefully everything's the same. I predict this one might come off a little harder. It's pretty good. Okay. So for me, it definitely was a hair cleaner and it definitely created more shape. So it's a little bit better part of the lane for the exotic gem for me at this moment than the magic gem per se. But for me, what I've really liked about this magic gem so far is how much further left I can get. As long as there's enough oil in the front of the lane, the ball stores its energy really well. So this next shot, I'll go a little, about like five left with it on the magic gem. We'll see how that looks comparatively. Not much to say about this ball. I have already shot in a 300 with it. So hopefully um, continue to do that with this ball. This ball seems to be, like I said, as I keep moving left, as long as there's enough oil in the front of the lane, it can continue to work for you. So cool. it's definitely a ball that I would put in the bag as always, and it's fire for sure. Cool. Thanks, Kyle. Got it.